Many had already been waiting before the check-in desks opened. These passengers at Manchester Airport had been advised by the airline TUI to arrive extra early. It's not good when you're waiting that long, is it? When you're getting told to come four hours and we haven't got the test, so that's important. That. And then there were the cancellations. After we've queued up for so long, we saw the screen again and it, and it said cancelled. We went and asked one of the TUI operators and they just said, yes, it's the old holidays cancelled. That's all we knew about it and we're, we're still in the dark now. TUI has cancelled nearly 200 flights from Manchester over the next month. It's incredibly frustrating for many passengers hoping to finally have a summer holiday after staying home during the pandemic. You won't be going today. These were the scenes from the airport over the weekend. Police having to tell holidaymakers headed for Greece that their flight had been cancelled. Among those due to flight to Kos was Liam West for a beachside wedding with his partner Kelly. It's already been pushed back three years because of Covid. It was horrible. And obviously having to come home and obviously we were up all night. We just Obviously my partner was just crying all the time. I just didn't know what to do. They already have family out there and other guests headed out this weekend. Liam's mum, Amanda, is one of them. She's distraught. The wedding now can't go ahead until July and she can't afford to pay for the trip again. And I get upset myself over it all. Why are you so upset? I just want to be happy. I keep thinking it's not happy until it's got her down the aisle. All the beach from what they've always wanted. They've always wanted it. Always. TUI have apologised and blamed ongoing challenges with their operation. They, like other airlines, are experiencing staff shortages after losing workers during the pandemic. EasyJet and British Airways have also cut flights. We've been saying to the industry that they need to prepare for this, they need to have the staff that, uh, uh, that they need to, to make sure people can get away and enjoy holidays. There's been many months where uh, we've been back on the, uh, the track, particularly since the vaccination mm -hmm. uh, to this moment, and uh, the industry should have been recruiting people. Heathrow alone has 12,000 vacancies, including baggage handlers and security staff. But getting clearance to work airside can take months. As for the short term, it seems there's plenty more disappointment to come for many hoping to get away this week. Becky Cottrell, Sky News, Manchester.